Hey friends, hey, welcome back to my game room. Today I want to bring you information about a little game here that's called Add 2. This game was published in the 1940s by the Fairchild Company. I'll tell you a little about the Fairchild Company. They began as the Alderman Fairchild Company back in the 1910s and they made boxes. Uh, they made boxes for hats and for products and clothing and so on. And uh, along about in the 1920s, they decided, let's manufacture something that we can put in those boxes. Uh, we have the equipment to do the printing and the cutting and folding and so on. So let's get into the board game and card game business. Uh, late in the 1920s, uh, the two partners had a kind of a falling out. So Elmer Fairchild bought out his partner's business and created the E.E. E. Fairchild Company. They also created the brand name of All Fair Games and Toys. So from that point on, All Fair was the name they used for most of their games. And they manufactured a lot of card decks, uh, children's games, as well as just regular playing cards. They also did board games. They also did the puzzles. One of their biggest hits was during the war. They had a game that was called the Navy Aircraft Squadron Insignia Game. Now, that's quite a mouthful, but it was a very popular uh, set building game. Now this particular game I think is pretty hilarious because it uh, was marketed in the early 50s as Cowboy Checkers. Now it's pretty obvious to somebody who knows much about historical games that this is actually Nineman's Morris. And I can't really imagine a lot of cowboys sitting around the chuck wagon playing Nineman's Morris. I suppose it's possible. Uh, I would have thought regular checkers would be the game of choice. But in later years, the Fairchild Company specialized a lot more in puzzles. But the Fairchild Company continued to publish into the 1970s. And then in 1974, there was a fire that broke out and uh, devastated their warehouse and uh, pretty well closed down their factory. And at that time, the Shaper Ross Company came along and uh, bought out their stock. They continued to use the Fairchild name, the Fairco name for uh, jigsaw puzzles after that, but they finally phased out the name entirely in the 1980s. So let's talk a little bit about this game, Add 2. It's a, a game of the uh, domino family, and that means that what we're doing is taking these little tiles and matching them according to color and number. You end up with a pattern on the table as you do so, and you score points for specific matches. Each player starts out with a row of uh, five tiles. Uh, the tiles are face up. There is a bit of strategy to that if you can see what your opponent is going to play. And generally speaking, you play to the latest tile that was laid, but there are some exceptions to that as we'll see here in just a minute. And you play the game until either nobody can play or one player runs out of tiles. And then you tally up the score and play another round. The game is by default played until somebody reaches a score of 200, but you can set that at whatever uh, number you might have time for. Um, I find that the scoring is pretty high per round, so uh, it would not be unreasonable to play enough rounds to get up to like 400, 500. So let's take a quick look at a few plays here and I'll explain how that scoring works and you can watch it uh, in action. As noted, the player with the lowest numbered tile goes first. In this case, it's the 1 3 tile. The second player then lays down this 7 8 tile. Now the color matches as it must, and because the total of the two numbers, 7 and 3, is a multiple of 5, this turn scores 10 points for the second player. Anytime a color match includes numbers that will add up to 5, 10, 15, 20, they will score. The first player now lays down a tile that matches the two blue eights. So the numbers are the same, the numbers match, but because it doesn't add up to a 5, 10, 15, or 20, no score is gained from that tile. So now the second player counters with a 10-2 that scores 20 points, 10 for each of the tiles. Player 1 hasn't got a tile to play, so she draws, then plays the 8-2, that scores 10 points. Player 2 then scores 10 points also with the 3 6.
and back to player 1 with a score of 15 for the 9-2 tile. Player 2, drawing a few tiles from the supply, places the 8-2 for another 10 points. Now the chain of tiles grows like a line of dominoes, playing to the previously played tiles. But the chain doesn't go on forever if a player can place a tile that connects more than one tile on the table. So here, we see player 1 lays down the 8-3 tile that matches two tiles. The numbers don't add up to a multiple of 5. But there's a bonus score for a placement like this. Each connection grants a bonus of 5 points, so this nets player 1 with 10 more points. Player 2 now gets into the act with another multiple connection. His 2-6 matches, but doesn't score on the 2-2 side. But he gains 10 points on the 8-2 connection, plus 10 more points for the multiple connections, and a total of 20 points. Player 1 must play off the most recently played tile and gains 10 points from this 4-5 tile. Lucky player 2 grabs that spot with a 5-2. The blue 5s gain 10 points, the 2-3 on the orange side is another 5, and the multiple connection another 10. That's a total of 25 points, the best play so far. Now this placement is an illegal move because player 1 should play off that 5-2 tile, but I want to show you a really nice play. This 1-7 scores 15 by mating with the orange 8. Not bad, but check this out. Here's a 3-9 tile that scores 10 on the 9-1 blue side, 5 on the 3-2 orange side, and 10 on the 3-7 side. Add to that the 15 points for the 3-tile connection and this player gains 40 points in one turn. If that had been a legal move, I think somebody would be doing a little victory dance at this point. So that's Add 2. It's a really fun little tile laying game. You can find these in thrift stores and antique stores sometimes and eBay and such. Um, if you get a chance to get one for a few bucks, I think that's uh, worth picking that one up. It's uh, something just a little bit different. A little mathy maybe, but uh, it's uh, got some real clever configurations as you play the game, so I highly recommend Add 2. But meanwhile, um, I thank you again for tuning in to the YouTube channel here. If you get the opportunity, be sure and click that subscribe button. Uh, click the little bell there so that you will uh, get notified when I drop a new episode. And, uh, of course, leave me some comments. I'm very eager to hear what you have to say. And, as some folks have done, uh, be sure to correct me if I get some of these game rules a little bit wrong, or if I'm not really as clear as I should be on explaining some of the rules. I'll uh, do my best to get back to you with the right information. And so, once again, like I always say, be sure to play every day.